Hello and welcome everyone to a new Play Recognizer tutorial. Let's go ahead and move to our today agenda. Today we will cover Docker installation process in Windows and the step by step and the WSL2 installation for Windows. Okay, so let's open our Play Recognizer tutorial for the Docker installation. As you can see the requirements, Windows 10, 64 bits Pro, Windows virtualization enabled in BIOS, 4 gigs of RAM, internet connection. So I just click install Docker. Here we're going to click on Docker desktop for Windows. Uh, we will see on our download screen on the right side that it will start the download. After download, just make sure to run it. Okay, so let's run our file. Click yes there, just to make sure that it will start. We're gonna get a security questions for WSLs2 instead on Hyper-B. We need to make sure to have both options check and click OK. We're gonna see some packaging files and some other details that we'll start pulling up during the installation process. Just wait for the process to be finished and at the end we will get a message to close and restart. It is important that if we have some process or some work that we're running, just save it and then just click close and restart. This will restart our device and it will pop up uh, the Docker automatically. We're going to get some agreements, just make sure to ac accept the agreements and Docker will pop up. For this time, it's expected to get an error because we need to install the WSL kernel version. So let's go back to our documentation. It's part of the system required for Dockers. So we need to go through the Microsoft documentation to install the WSL command. So open PowerShell, make sure to run as administrator, copy the command for WSL install. In my case, it's giving me an error. Uh, so just go ahead through the manual installation, just copy the first command in PowerShell as well, in, in administrator mode, okay? Then just the enable the virtualization machine, just copy the command as well, then go to download the Linux kernel update package. Make sure to run this uh, package, which is the, the kernel package. Just click next, accept the terms, just, just finish then and then move to uh, the other part. I would like to complete the, the steps, the five and six. So just copy the commands just to make sure uh, that we follow the documentation. So after that part, we can just run Docker once again. And now we're not getting any error because WSL2, it's now installing our system. So let's just wait. It can take a couple of minutes and then you will see that it's up and running. Images, volumes, and so on. If you're at this point, it's because you were able to complete the process. Thank you for watching till the end. See you in another Play Recognizer tutorial.